Hi there, we are projects for you and this is our paint shaker. When we color our minis, we use many paint bottles and of course we want to shake them. The main part of the shaker is this engine. And we need a little accenter. And a beer ring. And a plate. To apply the voltage we use this push button and a USB cable. For the case we have several parts. This upper one for the engine and the lower one for the push button. And this plate on the button. So, with some screws we now can build it together. All 3D printed parts you can find on Thingiverse on the link in the description. At first we put this extender in the bearing. It was not so easy. But... Ah. Now. Then we connect the engine with the case. It's very important that it's tough enough that the engine is not turning from itself in the case. Now we can connect the bearing with the engine. And connect it with the plate. The next step is to screw the whole case together. For the engine you have to take care about a, a few parameters. For example, it has to turn with 5 volt and the current is limited by the power bank you use. Also you need an engine which speed is high enough to shake the paint. The parameters we use you find in the description. Now we connect the push button with the case. The next step is to solder all together. So from the USB cable to the push button and then to the engine and back to the USB cable. At least we screw on the bottom of the case. So now everything is mounted. First test. To use the shaker we use a normal power bank with a minimum of 1 amp per output. Here you can see that it's another Accenter version where you can easily switch the plates with the bearings because it's not so tough. And it works. First test with the bearing and it shakes the finger. So now we can try it with paint. Ah, it's not that easy, you need a little bit practicing, but then it works really good. So in this version you can change the plate, for example for bigger bottles of paint. And yeah, it works also very good. So, this was our paint shaker. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye!